the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, will not be spelled because he went against the Nigerian electoral laws in 2022. The explanation given about the failures of the Beavers machine is something one cannot really understand. He did not keep his promise he made to Nigerians. This is very important, and we just have to note this. Meanwhile, Tunubu must score 25% in FCT to be declared the winner. The Supreme Court ruled it in, 20, in 2008, SAGF. Agbakova said, the former Antony General of the Federation, Agbakova, insists Tunubu must score 25% in the FCT to be declared winner. He added that the Supreme Court had determined the issue in 2008 in a suit involving the current president, Buhari, and the then president, Yaradua. You know, when people were talking about people who went to the the candidates who went to, you know, a tribunal, saying this, this, and all that. And they are not even talking about the process that brought the presidential, um, uh, the president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tsunobo. It's really very important to note this. I like what he said. The INEC chairman did not keep the promise he made to Nigerians. Nigerians were betrayed, you understand, by this INEC. You know, so we get this mindset before now, and that is that is just it. Election result for Nigeria, you know, they count. So voting, not they count, I mean to say. So for that, people go, I beg, I cannot won't go vote. After all, you go vote, finish, and another person, they could declare the winner. But he came, he told us that this election is going to be free and fair with the use of Beaver's machine. Nobody can rig the election because as they vote, then they transmit results. He promised us heaven and earth. For good two years, he was busy preparing for this election with billions of naira. At the end of the day, what happened? Nigerians are disappointed. Yes, because people are not really talking about what actually happened. They are still saying that this election was free and fair. APC is telling us that this election was the best election so far in the history of Nigeria. This election, there is nothing to tell home about. It'd be like child's play. We are talking about irregularities. We are talking about voter suppression. We are talking about discrepancies. Look at what INEC did with Beavers. And the way the thing happened, it can't be like, say, the INEC officials, they don't already rehearse what they won't do for polling units. Like, don't mind them. Anybody want one shot for you, or don't just, just be looking at them. And that was what happened upload the results i don't have the code i don't have network if nigerians went as hard as in fact to to provide network for them to upload the results they intentionally turn off deliberately turn off the INEC portal so that the election hmm, will not be able the, the beavers will not be able to transmit the election results and the return. If INEC actually did the needful, we should not be here talking about this. Because in this case now, say as the election they go on, the result is being transmitted. If they lose, you go no say they lose, you're not gonna call the person tomorrow, say, see, the election is being rigged. Because it is see waiting you score. But look at where they have kept us today. 
And apart from that, INEC has said 25% in NCT, it no matter. But see, this man said for Bola to be declared the president elect, he must score 25% in FC, uh, FCT. Because the Supreme Court ruled on it in 2008. So that means the judiciary is aware of this. APC cannot come and change the constitution just to suit themselves. Because this is uh, scaring already. The situation whereby the DSS is already indirectly telling the judiciary, see, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, inauguration stands. You cannot do this. Some people are trying to install interim government. Who are those people? But these are these the same government are the one heating up the system. Then when people talk, they say they support Igbo. Igbos have no respect. Obedience movement have no respect. When you when you refuse to do the needful, we should not be talking about this, if INEC played, you know, its card very well. I always say that this government keep on dragging us back. This man don't talk and say, the former Attorney General of the Federation, Agbakoba, he say, Tudubu must score 25% in the FCT, say because the law did there, before he could be declared a winner. He said that the Supreme Court had determined the issue in 2008, in a suit involving the current president, Buhari, and the then president, Iyaradua. He also talked about the, the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. He said this man has to be, you know, hold, responsible for what happened on February 25th. Because he went against a Nigerian electoral law in 2022. We can't go back to man way of, of accreditation. The same, the same, the same way they said is not helping us. So, guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.